Hey YouTube, this is Kirby Jr. here. I'm going to show you how to install texture packs on a cracked Minecraft launcher. In my previous video, I introduced the cracked Minecraft launcher and showed you how to use it. So you type in any username you want. Then, when you go to the game, make sure you're playing either whatever version I should say release you want to play on I'm playing on 1.7 forge so I'm gonna hit play never mind that weird noise in the background and then I'm going to go to options resource packs so I already have some loaded but you can get more Open that folder, close your game down for now, open up a tab in Chrome or Firefox and then type in resource packs, resourcepack.net, so that one you just saw was the sugar pack. We can just click on this another one just for fun. Scroll down here and we're going to click on this link right here, download Flatty resource pack. It's going to take us somewhere else. Media Fire. Show in folder. So you see this is my downloads folder. I'm going to right click and copy this. Go back to the resource packs folder and paste it in there. Go back to the desktop. Open the launcher. I'm just doing this for the video because if I was to play the audio, it would sound really, it would sound really bad click play and now we go to options resource packs here's flatty click on flatty done it it's gonna pause for a second to load the resource pack and then it's gonna be good There we go. Nice basic resource pack compared to the other one. Here's the other one. Very vibrant. And um, if you're into that sort of thing or if you're making a playthrough and you want to make it kind of interesting, resource packs are great. Okay, now. I'm going to show you how to install Forge Mod on a cracked client. It's going to be the same exact process as it was before. So you're going to go to Google, wherever, Forge Mod Loader. This first link, it almost all the time, is going to be the first link, unless you have a spyware on your computer and then it pushes it down. Minecraft Forge Downloads. 1.7.10. This isn't going to work on Minecraft 1.8. So you download the installer. This website is going to take you to AdFly. Um, everybody knows AdFly is safe. It's just an advertisement for the whatever place to get money. So I've already downloaded the file. Okay, it's in my downloads folder. It's right here. So when you click on this and you hit install client and then you click OK, that makes it work. But before you can do that, you have to actually run. 1.7.10 first and it'll tell you it'll say you need to run the game at least once so since I've already done that I'm good now once you've installed forge mod loader it's not gonna default to that so you're gonna have to go down here to versions you'll probably be up here on 8 or 7.10 the, the mods won't work on 1.8 so you go down here to 1.7.10 and then you click play If it doesn't say Forge, then you probably didn't install it correctly. And once it loads up, you'll you'll instantaneously know that you didn't do it. So down here on the left-hand corner of the screen, it says four mods loaded, four mods active. Coder pack, mod loader, Forge, and then I installed too many items already, and I'll show you how to do that next. I'll show you what too many items looks like. It's probably one of the best mods that you can use because you can be on survival, 
and just press E and then have every single thing in the game. It even has um, a search so you can search for whatever you want. I like just clicking on strange things to test them out. My sword is the, the candy cane. Okay. Save and quit. Quit game. Now, mods. Just go back to Google. Mods for 1.7.10. 9minecraft.net is really easy to use. You just find whatever you're looking for. Set homes mod. CJB. If you want to use CJB cheats, you have to download his API first because they won't work right. But I need to find something that's, you know, interesting. Hmm. Fancy pack. Double doors mod. Do you have two crates? Interesting. Anyways, there's tons of stuff that you guys can download. It's it's just unreal. So we have all these interesting breads. Then we scroll down here. Well, that's weird. Huh. All right. So this link right here, 1.7.10. I'm going to download from DL4. It's going to go up here in the browser and start trying to connect. If it takes forever. I usually will close it. But this website's pretty reputable. Click the big blue download button. If you guys' screen looks a little different, then it's probably because I have ad lock on because I don't like tons of ads. So a lot of websites use them, I know, to make money, but it's really distracting. Okay, go to your downloads folder, right click, right click the mod, copy, go to your explorer and type in percent app data. Usually the first Minecraft folder is your folder, unless you have backups. Okay, so you click Minecraft, then you click mods. If there is no mods folder, you can make one. And you know how to make folders, right? Click new, folder, mods, you're good. All right, so close all that, back to your launcher. Type in whatever name, 1.7.10 Forge, play. Damn, son. Click on mods, scroll to the bottom. So you now have these both loaded. Single player, play selected world. I'm sure there's an easy way to find out what bread I have by using my TMI bread. Here it is. Magical bread, corn bread, slice of bread, banana bread, brewing bread. All right. And now the last thing I'm going to show you is how to change your skin on the craft Minecraft launcher. This is a little more difficult to do, but it's still possible. So go to percent app data where you were before. I recommend making a shortcut on your desktop to your Minecraft folder if you're gonna be doing a lot of changing. Click on versions, then click your forge mod version that you're using. Um, this does not work on 1.8. If you try to do it, it'll always default back to Steve. Okay, right click this jar folder, not the JSON folder. Open it with WinRAR. If you guys don't have WinRAR, I'll put it in the description as well. Okay, click Assets, Minecraft, Textures, and then Entity down here. Then find Steve, click on Steve, hit the delete button on your keyboard. It does some things. Go back to Google, type in MC Skins, Find a skin that you like. I'm just going to click the first one. Download to computer. Click on the file. You can hit F2 and then change the file name or you can right click and rename it. 
Oh, I already have a Steve here. Let's delete him. Steve. Okay, now you grab this guy and you drag him to that WinRAR window you have open and you drop him in. Now, from there, you're going to go back to your Minecraft, reopen it, type in some whatever you feel like, load it up. Single player, play selected world, F5, F5. Oh, you know what, that's probably going to mess you guys up, having this mod on. There's my military guy. Hurrah! 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 Hey you guys, um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Just to let you know, this does, it looks like it works on multiplayer, but once you play it and you look at your character, you're not, you're, it's not right. It's, you look right, but the other players still see you as Steve. Um, and I can also mention, if you guys need help with connecting to multiplayer servers, just let me know and I'll make a separate video just for cracked multiplayer. Alright, thanks for watching.